Hey y'all, hey, it's your favorite cousin Turquoise. How has your summer been? Mine's been hot as hell. It's been hot as hell here in Philadelphia. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but it's been extremely, extremely hot. And so has my wallet. <laughs> I know y'all feel me when I say I love fragrances. I love perfumes and I've been buying quite a few. Um, I plan on buying some more. I try to buy maybe two to three perfumes per season because I don't want to end up with a thousand perfumes and you can't wear them all and they all go bad, right? I try to budget myself because perfume is expensive, but I have bought some perfumes in the last two months, I would say, that have blown my mind. Perfume number they one is a Giorgio Armani. I don't know what it is about Giorgio Armani for me, but always hits the spot. Giorgio Armani is such a perfume house that just hits the nail. You can go date night with Giorgio Armani or you can go day to day. This is more of a day to day. It's sweet, it's subtle, and it smells so freaking good. And this is My Way Nectar uh, by Giorgio Armani. They be, when I tell you, this fragrance is, ooh, it's sweet. But here is the bottle. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, this, this thing right here, I bought this as soon as I smelled it. This perfume smells exactly like another perfume I'm gonna show you in this haul. Mind you, I bought these within two to three weeks of each other. Um, I bought this one recently, but the other one I bought maybe two, three weeks ago. It smells identical, but the difference is the other perfume definitely has staying power and it's more of a beast mode. But anyways, this is more of a cheapy perfume and it is Victoria's Secret's Bombshell Intense. This is another um, great perfume for your everyday going into the office, you want a little something something. And for me personally, one of my favorite notes in perfume is cherry. I love a good cherry, 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 vanilla. I'm a cherry vanilla girl, um, sweet, sultry, and I like a lot of musk. And I, and I really love amber. I really love amber and cherry. Amber, cherry, vanilla, those are my top favorite notes and perfumes. But I got it on Amazon Prime. I think it retails for 60 or $70 because it was prime. It cost me 40 so it was worth it. Two, that just because the perfume may last long on someone else does not necessarily mean that it's gonna stay forever and a day on you. So you gotta kinda play around with your body chemistry. Now remember that Victoria's Secret I just showed you? This is this twin. This is the big sister to Victoria Bombshell Intense. And when I tell you, when I wear this, I've been in a grocery store, I've been at Ubers. I have literally had men turn around when I go run an errand and be like, ma'am, no disrespect, what do you have on? And I had one guy literally take his phone out, make himself a note to buy his wife this perfume. And it's not even like a super, super luxe perfume, but it does have staying power. And it's, it's not cheap, cheap, but it's not high, high neither. Somewhere in between, it's, it's in the median somewhere. This is Coach Dream sunset baby coach dream sunset this was a surprise coach you did your big one with dream sunset you did your big one coach dream sunset oh my god woo 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 great everyday fragrance great date night fragrance date going out with the excuse me great going out with the girls fragrance this perfume right here coach dream sunset this is gonna be on repeat like this was a pleasant surprise and remember i said one of my favorite notes is amber i wouldn't say it stays all day but this perfume is amazing if you're wanting to like put a little something, something on but not overdo it and it's also the perfect perfume to layer because it literally is amber straight amber so that is michael kors sexy amber michael kors sexy amber is amazing so here's the cap it has the michael kors and this is the this is the bottle with his name it's, it's such a simple bottle 
but I love that for Michael Kors. So yes, if you're looking for the perfect perfume to layer, Sexy Amber by, by Michael Kors, go get it. <laughs> now we getting into the more expensive ones. Baby, I smelled this. Actually, let me take that back. I bought some perfume. I did a haul a while ago, a perfume haul. This was one of the samples in my haul. Chloe. Chloe. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Chloe. This Chloe, it comes with a ribbon, it fell off. But Chloe, it's the perfect feminine floral perfume for us girlies who don't like care for floral perfumes, you know what I'm saying? It's the perfect balance. It's a little powdery, but definitely more floral based. You did your big one with this. So if you need a floral scent, but you're not like a floral kind of girl, kind of notes girl, Chloe. Another unexpected surprise perfume I wasn't even looking at. Went to Macy's. The lady said, hold on, Turquoise, I got something for you. I Want You by Chimmy Choo. This is amazing. I haven't, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I haven't worn it yet. Matter of fact, let me tell you how much I haven't worn it. It still has the plastic. It's I Want You is real grown. I Want You by Jimmy Choo is real grown, real date night-ish, real corporate-ish, perfect perfume. It's, 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 oh, I Want You by Jimmy Choo. Get it, y'all, get it. I'm trying to see if it focus or not. Get this perfume. I Want You is the perfect, like, it's grown, but it's sultry. You know what I'm saying? Girl, go get you some gel. <laughs> Cause if you wear some, I want chew by Chimmy Chew, you'll be getting chewed by the end of the night. I love y'all, bye. <laughs>